Hello, it's Andy Prothero, the chair of the Wales IIRSM branch. As I continue my audit out here in Iraq for security uh, quality um, on a security company, I'm just going to provide another brief video on the standard ISO 18788 security operations management system. And here I'm just going to cover, I just look at clause 723 training and competence evaluation. So let's have a quick look at this clause. The organization shall provide competence-based training and establish a means to measure degrees of proficiency or levels of competency. Persons working on behalf of the organization shall be trained to demonstrate the level of competence and proficiency required. Skills, knowledge, ability, training, experience, as we know, is uh, something similar, something sort of well known in the world of health and safety, SCATE we call it. When we undertake these audits, it's really audits, it's really important that evidence can be provided, but it's specific evidence for the security context. So as we look further into the clause, we've got to come up with that training program. But let's have a look at the specific training needs, understanding with regards to the respect for human rights and part of the organization's core values and governance. So it's not just good enough to sort of provide um, your regular training that everybody would understand to be security training. That is security search procedures, um, of course search procedures and all of the general requirements are required. But look at this, it's specifically focusing on human rights. And that's what makes this standard so powerful. And that leads on initial and regular classroom, physical, mechanical and live fire training and evaluation for all personnel who are authorised to carry lethal, less lethal or non-lethal weapons in the performance of their duties. So again, very, very focused. Remember, this is high hazard, high threat environments, human rights. And as we can see there, live fire training on weapons as well. As we can see, that training then has got to be obviously recurring, but we're going through that use of force. Force continuum, coming up a level, coming down a level, as I think I mentioned in uh, another video. Refresher training, very important. Uh, often get asked, well, when would that be sort of required? It's risk-based, isn't it? There is a requirement in the standard for the ranges to be visited annually, but then your training is going to be sort of risk-based. could also be contractually based as well when you think about um, legal and other requirements. And the last one, we've got provide training on the importance of the conformity with the security operations management system policies and procedures, as well as potential consequences from departure from the specified procedures. So basically, what we're going to sort of look for there is in induction, you explain the SOMS, the Security Operations Management System, explain the component parts, the relevant parts um, that apply to um, that individual or sort of that type of work that you're going to be doing. You're going to be explaining the importance of it. That's not just because oh, we've, got a, we've got this standard. If we lose the standard, we're going to lose the contract. It's not so much about that. It's about the importance of the human rights elements within it. It's about the importance of what the actual um, security operations management system is trying to do. And that is, of course, provide security in a hostile or a potentially hostile environment. So that's it. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, stay productive.